Hello, and welcome to a recap of today's Python Django Live Code Hangout. Today we're working on the Companionship Care app. We're open source on GitHub. We started on issue number 44, the ability to delete scheduled activities. When you have a care profile, a person's profile, who you want to coordinate companions to do various activities with that person, Sometimes the activities will get canceled or you might make a mistake when entering something and that editing the activity won't fix. For various reasons, you may just want to delete an activity. As it stands, all you can do with activities is edit them and mark them done. But today we worked on a new feature we're halfway through to allow you to delete an activity with confirmation. So here's the code without um, further ado. I've started on the outside and we're working our way in. So we're working just through the user interface at this point. In the following session, I'll start with the backend logic. It's essentially a view that will allow us to delete the activity. But for now, I, I wanted to focus on just reorganizing um, the user interface, adding this button with the ellipsis and you can hover over it and see what it's for and it drops down and gives you sub links or sub actions so we're using bootstrap and fortunately bootstrap makes this work very straightforward on the activity card each activity is displayed in its own card so we add another activity we have two activity cards with their corresponding action buttons you create a button group and a button that will drop down. We have a three dots, also known as an ellipsis icon displaying here. And essentially the button takes some bootstrap styles, including we want a round button to kind of um, indicate that this can be touched with your finger. The idea here is that this can be useful on a mobile application, I mean a mobile phone or device, uh, without having to actually create a mobile application. So uh, running in the browser on a mobile device. And it'll toggle a drop down and give it a title for usability. The drop down, I think, just comes from the same button group. By being in a button group, you don't have to uh, have any other semantics there saying what drop down to toggle. This is Bootstrap 5, so I think they've worked to create a more general purpose um, approach to some of these frameworks, just using the document it's to describe itself rather than having to explicitly pass in other metadata. So by combining these in a common parent, using a drop down with a drop down menu. Uh, sibling you're able to achieve this effect i'm using the drop down menu end here so that the end of the menu is aligned with the button text by default it was opening out to the right and that was overlapping this companions and on smaller screens it might even have some issues with the edge of the screen here so dropping out to the left seemed more natural then inside that on our unordered list you create list items and actually I just realized I have an error here that's, that's surprisingly working I think each of these uh, buttons should be in their own list item as a drop down item but that's interesting that that works I'll try to fix that off stream this button previously was the edit action that took this space originally I've moved it into the button group. So nothing really has changed here. This toggles a modal dialog. And all we're doing is following the same pattern here. You click the button. It's got a title when you hover over that with your mouse or a screen reader might pick up that title. It's a drop down item so it renders correctly in that drop down menu. It toggles a modal with the target delete activity. It's a confirmation modal for the activity ID. It's got an icon and some help text. Toggles this modal. Uh, there's a 
number of ways that uh, this code can be um, improved overall. One of the most significant that I'm using in this project is each of these cards is rendering um, basically markup for three modals. So you've got three, six, nine, twelve. Uh, depending on how many modals, uh, I mean, activity cards we're just playing here, that could add to a lot of markup and a slow page load. So I might move those into a more generic um, approach where we pass in. The activity ID as a maybe a property to the modal, and hopefully can pass that into the form, or somehow use JavaScript to invoke the modal with the variables. I'm not sure if that's in, within the scope of this pull request, and I do have the idea to add pagination here. So the idea might, or the issue might be kind of negligible, although still wasteful in terms of bandwidth usage. Uh, but I could say only render five, only render ten, and then we're looking at thirty extra. You could say UI components with all the markup. Here's the modal dialog. So it's you know basically this times the number of cards displayed. Uh, the modal is going to fade in. It's got the ID mentioned before. This is all just straight out of the documentation. And each since we have to render. A modal for each item it needs to be uniquely uniquely keyed for both uh, you know opening it and labeling the elements in there this is straight straight and standard straight up bootstrap um, markup here modal dialog modal content modal header I'm using a paragraph for the modal header because I don't know the heading level the documentation actually uses the heading uh, like a heading tag to style the text, to control the font style, font size specifically. I moved that over into a class, modal title, header level five. I could probably make it more generic and just say font medium, something like that. It's got the ID so that um, Aria knows how to label it. Translation strings, an icon, and a button to dismiss and close the dialog. Right now it has some translated text prompting the person to make sure that they want to perform this action. And I've commented out the form that will eventually submit the um, essentially post to the delete endpoint, which doesn't exist, or the de de delete view. But I did leave the button in just, again, for mocking out the user experience. It doesn't have any action right now, but the delete and the close button will. And we got I icons. So that's, in a nutshell, the progress we've made so far. Adding bootstrap button group with a drop down, multiple actions, and multiple modal dialogues. That way we don't have, you know, the user interface getting too cluttered. We're able to put some of the less frequently used actions in a less prominent um, interface element, leaving room for the important information, important actions to take more prominence in the user's field of view. So this has been a Python and Django live code hangout. Thanks for your time and stopping by and I hope you're doing well.